We have developed a concerted and a combined effort of more training in the days that we're not competing, uh, in more conditioning, and in better communication for each of our teams that knows they have one of two or three locations to be practicing in uh, because of the size of our teams and also the types of courses that were available to access. We have a strong recruit team of men that are from Florida, so they're accustomed to the playing conditions down here. Uh, we have two seniors that are in our top two spots that we are hoping to be able to fill with the development of our incoming freshmen this year and also senior and transfer recruits coming in for next fall. On the ladies' side, uh, are, we don't have a senior that's graduating, so we see further development of the ladies that are here and have an opportunity to attract two or three very accomplished players on our team this year because of them seeing the positive direction of our team going forward in the conference. So for the first time, each of the teams, the ladies and the men's team, plays in every Sunshine State school hosted event so we're excited about that and we do travel up to sea island at the beginning of the year for men's and ladies events and we're also looking about uh, looking into going into south carolina for another strong division two competition in the fall we plan to move uh, considerably higher in the con in the conference we have players that are freshmen this fall that we expect now that they are accustomed to the new, new scenery of being on, on the college campus to be performing very well and moving up considerably in both the men's and the women's conference.